Hi learners, welcome to today's lesson. We will be doing some interactive editing. Materials. All you need today is your thinking cap. Here are today's learning targets. I can review decoding two syllable words with vowel teams and I can collaborate with my teacher to edit a sentence with two syllable words and high frequency words. Let's get going. Question and answer. Okay, today I will ask you some questions to review all of the syllable types that we've been learning. Our choices are closed syllables, open syllables, magic E syllables, syllables with R controlled vowels, and vowel team syllables. Do your best to shout out the answer, okay? Our first word is backpack. This word has two syllables, back, pack. What kind of syllables are back and pack? Both back and pack are closed syllables. Let's do another one. This word is halo. It also has two syllables. You can clap it with me. Hey, low. What types of syllables are hey and low? Hey and low are both open syllables. That's how those vowels say their long sound. The next word is baseline. Let's clap it out together. Base, line. Base and line are the same kind of syllable. Can you tell me what kind it is? They are magic E syllables. Each one of the syllables has a magic E at the end that is telling the vowel to say its name. The next word is carport. That's a shelter or a roof you can park your car under to keep it safe from the weather. Carport has two syllables. Clap it out. Car, port. Hmm, what kind of syllables are car and port? Both syllables have R controlled vowels in them. Car says R, and port has the R controlled vowel OR. Just one more to go. Our last word is sailboat. Sail, boat. What syllable type are both of those syllables? They are both vowel team syllables. Nice job sorting those words with me. Transition song. Now let's all be editors, editors, editors. Now let's all be editors to make the writing make sense. Look at the sentence, sentence, sentence. Take a look. At the sentence, we will change it as a group. Writing. Now, let's look for spelling errors, capitalization mistakes, and incorrect punctuation in this sentence. Oh my goodness, I might need your help to read it. Let me try. Jams sits on the corpet B himself and reads books about dragons and railroads. I see an error in the very first word. We have been reading books about a character named James. I think that is the name the author is trying to use. How can we change the word jams to make it have a long A sound? we could add a magic E before the final S. Now, this says the name James. 
We need a capital letter since it's the first word in a sentence and it is a character's name. Let's keep going. James sits on the corpet. Corpet? What's a corpet? Oh, carpet? That sounds right and it makes sense with this sentence. Car, pet. It sounds like the first syllable of carpet has the R controlled vowel R. Do you remember what two letters make that sound? R. The A R. That looks better. James sits on the carpet by himself. Oh, by himself. Do you remember what letter makes the long I sound when it comes at the end of a one syllable word? The letter Y. You've got it. Next, we have the high frequency word himself. And then the word and. Those both look right. James sits on the carpet by himself and reads. You know, the EE -E vowel team does say E, but we need a different vowel team to make the long E sound in the word reads. Do you know what I need to change the EE -E to? The EA vowel team, that's correct. He sits on the carpet by himself and reads books. James is reading books on the carpet, but that word books needs a second look. Having an X at the end of the word makes the correct sound, but that's not how it's spelled. We need the letter K and then the suffix S since he's reading more than one book. That K-S sounds a bit like an X. X. Okay. James sits on the carpet by himself and reads books about, that's correct, dragons. Dragons. Do you think the author meant to say dragons? Right now, the word says dragons because it has that vowel team A-Y, making the long vowel A sound. We need to change it to a short vowel sound. Dr ag. So I'll take out that Y. That looks right. James sits on the carpet by himself and reads books about dragons and railroads. I don't know what a railroad is. What do you think the author meant to write here? If you said railroads, I agree. We need a vowel team in that second syllable that says O. Oh. What could it be? The OA? I agree. Now that word says railroads. Both of those syllables are vowel team syllables. Do we need to change anything else? It seems as though we fixed all of the spelling and the capitalization. Oh, that's right, we need a punctuation mark. Hmm, what mark do you think we should put here? A period. The author is telling us about what James is reading about. Let's read the whole sentence together. James sits on the carpet by himself and reads books about dragons and railroads. Nice editing. Closing reflection. As we close our lesson today, take a moment to think about this question. Why is it important to always take the time to edit our writing? You did an amazing job editing with me today. When we gather together in the next lesson to review all of the work during this cycle, 
it will be our last lesson together. Wow! I'll see you then.